The largest security union in the private security sector, that's Kungwini Amalgamated Workers Union, has issued a statement urging its members and other security officers not to block protesters during the national shutdown. Well, the union's national coordinator, Kumulani Moyo, joins us now to discuss this even further. And Kumulani, thank you so much uh, for making time to speak to us. And good morning to you. Um, we definitely heard from the police minister, Begit Teles, saying they're working alongside members of the SANDF, but also private security in monitoring the national shutdown today, but you still have an appeal uh, to your members as well as to private security. Uh, morning, Jimela, and morning to your viewers. Um, yes, we, <clears throat> we have called for this uh, appeal to our members uh, to be vigilant in regard to uh, the uh, anticipated uh, shutdown which is taking place this morning. Already in the morning in Bramfontein picked up some issues that were not good on behalf of our members. But what we are calling for is that we have engaged with the security cluster in regard with how our members are going to conduct themselves with an understanding that uh, they need also to restrain from confrontation because we know in most of these uh, protests or these shutdowns or strikes, and as unions, you know, we participate in most of these organized strikes that criminal elements do come in. And uh, also our duty is to make sure that the properties of our, our clients or, or our members are working are, are, are kept safe. So we have uh, called for our members to make sure that they are vigilant when, when this, uh, uh, the EFF uh, members are protesting on their shutdown. Mm. But at the same time, I'm sure you do know that there might be opportunistic uh, criminal uh, you know, elements in, in protesters where people that are not necessarily joining it the shutdown are joining it for the reason that the EFF um, have planned for, which is a call uh, for President Cyril Ramaphosa to resign, which is, of course, the rolling blackouts to end. Uh, we've seen even with the fees must fall uh, previously where there have been reports that uh, it's an opportunity, I suppose, for some uh, criminals to participate participate and uh, distract from the main vision of, you know, peaceful protests. Uh, what is your advice as opposed to security, private security, your members as well, in instances like that where they have to observe and give, you know, uh, South Africans a right to protest, but also equally be vigilant of those opportunistic criminal activities? We, we, we have learned lessons from the July unrest on the, on the, the 2021 and the lessons in terms of how we refresh, our members are refreshed in terms of training. Uh, yesterday also we did some rundown in some of the biggest malls in terms of how readiness are they in terms of protection. Also recently we have seen the best students doing strike and, and throwing stones to our members who are protecting buildings. So we've said to them, uh, short of using the maximum force, what their main duty would be is to make sure that when they pick up that they are criminal elements, they must also alert the uh, law enforcers, which are the police, not to find themselves confronting themselves uh, with the protesters because <clears throat> Where they've been trained, they've been trained to restrain from confrontation, but make sure that they, they, they protect. And also we've engaged these security companies to make sure that they give them the equipment that will allow them to be able to communicate with the law enforcers. And we welcome also the issue that uh, there will be also soldiers who will be assisting in terms of making sure that the law is enforced. But bearing in mind that our duty or our members, our main, their main core duty is to make sure that they protect uh, uh, properties and also they protect the malls. We have learned lessons when last time there were riots, the main people were affected were our members mm. because when the malls were banned, when the shops were looted, our members could not go to work. So we have said it's key for them to be at work where they need to be and also to make sure that those properties are, are protected because that's where they, 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 they get their income and that's mm. where their jobs are because if those malls are gone and if those buildings are gone or they are looted or they are banned, which means those contracts which the companies have with those uh, uh, service providers, which means at the end of the day they are not going to be having employment. So it's critical that uh, they need to be vigilant and make sure that those protect properties are protected. And also what we had called for, which had been difficult even last night when our members were involved with the confrontation in the morning. 
mm. was that we couldn't even identify their marshals uh, because it's critical when they've got a protest or when you're marching that there are marshals which we can say these are the people who are monitoring their members. Right. So I think when EFF do their marches, they need to make sure that uh, the marshals are visible. Mm. And also just speaking on, you know, some of those incidents that were reported this past week and Bromfontein being one of them, um, I suppose my question to you is how involved were your members um, in some of those, you know, arrests that we understand police ministers saying in total amount to 57, over 24,000 tyres also being a confis uh, confiscated. Um, have you received any report back as to, you know, your members being engaged, contributing uh, working alongside SAP, SNAP joints, uh, in assisting uh, with any disruptions of that nature this past weekend? <clears throat> Our members, where they are involved, is to make sure that they are late in misbehavior. Like last night, mm. what they only alerted is that there were certain people who wanted to just say, I think those were criminal elements, because some of them were not wearing the EFF t-shirts. We were trying to come to some of the shops. But uh, we, we we appreciate what they've done last night to alert the police to say these are the people, although they were not being able to be identified as either, either, either as EFF members. Mm. But we welcome them in terms of uh, what they've done. Uh, the rest is going to be dealt with the police because they are the law enforcers. So our duty, like in this uh, shutdown, we've said that they need to just be alert and make sure they are on high alert to, to highlight the, the criminal elements. Because what we are many tasked to do is to, to identify the criminal elements. Those who are protesting is their right to protest. And also they need also to allow other people partake in their daily duties which they need to do but you can't be seen obstructing other mm. people who, are, who want to go to work or shutting down the other shops the first food but we'll monitor that because we're in highly alert we've spoken to companies to make sure that they support our members with all the protective clothing that they need to do this uh, uh, sh uh, shutdown and we know it's going to be a tough day today and we'll keep on abrasing. And also we've highlighted that our offices are open. And if our members have got issues, then they need to highlight them to us that we are able to assist with the backups. All right, well, we appreciate you speaking to us about this. Kungwini Amalgamated Workers Union National Coordinator, Kumbulani Moyo, thank you so much for your time.